Ladies and gentlemen, it's no fun having belt tracking issues at the end of a project. So let's talk about seven steps to make sure your belts track properly. Step one, level your system with a rotary laser. This way you'll be correcting any dips and rises in your concrete slab. Step two, straighten your conveyor with a string as a guide. Remember, a chalk line is only a rough installation guide. And at this point, you're ready to anchor. Step three, square racked beds. Racked is the condition of a bed that is no longer a perfect rectangle and is now slightly a parallelogram. By squaring your beds, you'll be resetting all those tread rollers to be perpendicular to the belt's direction of flow. And in step four, you'll be going through the whole system squaring pulleys, snubs, and idlers to also be perpendicular to the belt's direction of flow. Step five, tension your belt. Remember, don't over tension your belt. The belt can often withstand more tension than the other conveyor components. If anything, start on the looser side, and once you start running the belt, you can increase tension if you see the belt slipping. Step six, further adjust turnbuckles. You've already squared the beds in step three, but while the conveyor is running, you may have to adjust your turnbuckles a little further because if the bed is even slightly out of square due to rollers being punched off a 32nd of an inch, or just measuring error when you squared your beds originally, that will all play into belt tracking. Your adjustments at this point should be minor since you already got the beds close to square in step three. Step seven, track your belt. If you've installed the conveyor properly up to this point, the belt should track pretty well on its own, but you may need to do some tracking. Remember, the snubs at the infeed and discharge end of the conveyor right near the end pulleys are your first go-to snub rollers for tracking. And that's it, seven steps to proper installation. Simple, but you don't want to forget a step or you're going to be trying to correct for all your mistakes when you're tracking your belt. I'll talk a little bit more about each of these steps in future videos. If there are any mistakes you've commonly seen made in the field that cause belt tracking issues, I'd like to hear it in the comments below.